Hey guys, here we go into a video kind of discussing the reasons why Lomachenko was able to defeat Luke Campbell in spite of the fact that Luke Campbell did a very good job of layering his offense, feinting, probing, and controlling Lomachenko and keeping Lomachenko from being able to, to be the one to set up his punches uh, as often as he'd like. Um, a very similar thing that Pedraza was able to do. However, Pedraza didn't know what to do with any of the information that he was getting from controlling Lomachenko. He didn't understand how to turn it into offense later, um, whereas Campbell did have a lot of success in that area. But what we're going to look at is just one clip here of Campbell in the first round, feinting him, controlling him with the lead hand, controlling him with the lead hand, controlling him with the lead hand. As you see, when when Luke Campbell sticks his lead hand out there, Lomachenko has to respect this as a punch. Because if it was a punch and he didn't move, he'd get hit. So he has to move and continue being threatened by Luke Campbell until he can find a way to gain control of the space between him and his opponent. Um, and one of the ways that this usually happens, um, Lomachenko usually fights right-handed fighters, is he would fight their jab and contest the lead hand uh, with his own lead hand. So what Lomachenko is going to do here is the next time that Luke Campbell sticks his glove out, Lomachenko attacks his lead hand to create space and to stop Luke Campbell from having control of the space between them and then throws a right, uh, a left hand to the body uh, and then follows it up with a little bit of control. Again, the the jab after. <laughs> but let's just take a look at it again. Again, Luke Campbell shooting the jab, shooting the jab shooting the jab, shooting the jab, and then Lomachenko attacks it in order to set up the body shot. Now, this is something that he talks about in this training video here. If you guys want to go and watch it, um, one of my viewers sent it to me, but it's very fascinating that Lomachenko talks about this. Now, he is talking about it in the Southpaw versus Orthodox style, where they're contesting lead hands, contesting, and then Lomachenko shows here that he likes to knock the jab up and then go to the body. Right? And that's exactly what he does in this clip here. Again, the same thing, knock it up, and then shoot a shot to the body. You know, giving away his own tricks. Um, and this is basically the only difference between Luke Campbell and Lomachenko during the course of this fight, is that Lomachenko knew how to take advantage of the lack of knowledge that Campbell had about controlling your opponents. Uh, about using lead hand dominance, about feinting and probing. When you have control of the space between you and your opponent, there are very few ways that your opponent has to get it back. Um, one of them is punching you in the face, and as you can see, or, you know, in the body. Um, and as you can see here, he looks to fight the lead hand, take back control of the space and go to the body. But uh, the difference between Luke Campbell and Lomachenko is that Lomachenko, in spite of the fact that some of this stuff is very simple to do, right? Just stick your lead hand out there. Faint with the right hand. Faint with the left hand, right? Change angles, right? Give him something to think about. In spite of the fact that all that stuff on the surface is very easy to do, understanding where your opponent's weaknesses are when, when, they, when they're controlling the space and when they're um, setting up their offense is something that takes a lot of boxing IQ, right? A lot of experience, a lot of um, uh, a lot of practice using these techniques in an, inside the ring, um, and that's the reason that Luke Campbell didn't have nearly as much success as Lomachenko in the fight, uh, is because of the fact that Lomachenko has so much more experience using this, and and Luke Campbell is just starting to pick this up. It's just becoming a layer of his craft. Um, however. Uh, he's shown immense growth. If you guys check out my my last film study on um, Luke Campbell about controlling the space um, and how he's grown uh, fighting from the first Yvonne Mendes fight or Mendy fight to the second one. Um, and he showed that he continued to take those skills and use them not only uh, against the pound for pound best fighter in the world, but against an orthodox fighter as well, which is even more difficult to have the... Um, to have the confidence to use those tactics uh, against an orthodox fighter, a lot of people think that it's a it's a huge mistake. You know, I actually had a coach yell at me, literally yell at me in the middle of a class for attacking someone's lead hand with my lead hand, saying that you never do that. You gonna get 
you know. And, and this guy, this coach, to be honest, I think he's an idiot. Um, I I have no respect for him or the way that he coaches or trains. Um, but anyway, we don't need to talk about that. I probably shouldn't even have brought it up. But um, it was a long time ago. But anyway, um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and yeah, I will have many more Lomachenko, Luke Campbell videos coming out. I'm very excited about this fight. I thought it was a fantastic performance from Luke Campbell. I thought he did an amazing job. And I will be breaking down what I saw in that fight uh, from Luke Campbell. For the most part, I'll do some Lomachenko too. But I was very impressed with Luke Campbell and his growth. Um, so I will be focusing a lot on that. Because if you can do this to the pound-for-pound -pound best fighter in the world... You have to know that it works.